I've written a cover letter that has several paragraphs, and to make each paragraph stand out just a little more, I want to add a first line indent. The easiest way to do this is to place your cursor, also known as the insertion point, at the beginning of a paragraph, and then press the tab key. You may have noticed that when I did this, this little marker on the ruler moved forward one half inch. This is the first line indent marker. There's also a left indent marker, and then all the way on the other side, the right indent marker. We can move them to create various types of indents. They don't affect the whole document though, just the parts that are selected. So let's select all of these paragraphs. Now click and drag the first line indent marker. As the marker moves, a blue guideline extends from the ruler. The right indent is useful if you want to make the paragraph narrower. And finally, the left indent marker can be used to move all of the lines at the same time. You can also adjust the left indent using the buttons on the toolbar. These will increase or decrease the indent in one half inch increments. But for this letter, I want a more traditional look. So I'm just going to do a first line indent of one quarter inch. Indents are a good way to keep things lined up in your document, but for more complex documents, such as resumes, they're not always enough. I'd really like all of these dates to line up. I could just use spaces, but it's going to be difficult or impossible to get them to line up exactly. So I'll need to use tabs. If I place the insertion point right before the text I want to align, and then press the tab key, it's going to jump forward in half inch increments. That works pretty well, but I'd like to have a little more control over exactly how the text lines up. I think a tab stop is exactly what we need here. Tab stops tell the text exactly where to line up, so you're not limited to half inch increments. Just like with indents, tab stops only apply to selected text. So select all of the text you want to include in your tab stop. Next, click the ruler where you'd like the tab stop to be. You can choose to align your text to the left, center, or right of the tab stop. In this example, we're going to align our text to the left. Now to align the dates, we want to add just one tab before each date, and they will jump to the new tab stop. If there are more things you'd like to align, you can add more tab stops. And to remove them, just drag them off the ruler, and they'll disappear. I think that looks a lot better now, and I think having everything lined up gives it a neater, more professional appearance. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life.